What is happening today? I don't know. Good morning, all of you. One sec. Very good morning to all of you. So today we are doing TDS and TCS. Okay, right. And as we begin the class, the pearls of the wisdom is again, we are bigger than our environment. Whatever is going on in our surrounding, keeping it aside, can we study because we have to study and um, like I'm seeing around me students who were just studying in simple school behind me, seven to eight standard and in a single room they have studied and the father is a driver, the mother is a cook and these students are now studying in IIT, Kanpur. They got the admission and this is the second year. I met them yesterday. So it felt so motivating that there is no lot of facility nahi hai. and for us we have all the facility, only thing lacking is positivity. So that we need to inculcate over the period. Hoga negative hoga, mood swings honge, dar lagega, fear hoga. That's going to be a part of this journey. While you become C, I, I have also gone through this journey from 95 to 2000. So I'm very well with all of you. Still, you need any help, ask and keep saying to yourself, I am bigger than my environment. So, okay, environment, what is happening? Surely I'll be able to handle. And second, very important thing is not once, dear students, but now and then we need to make our why clear. Are you doing this? Why are you doing this? CACMA. Are you doing it for yourself, for good education, for good degree, so that you can lead a very nice level of life, right? For that, you're going for this professional degree and education. Then go ahead with confidence and give whatever it is requiring. If it is requiring hard work, your time, your focus, give it so that that why becomes clear and you achieve your goals, right? So now and then reminding ourselves of our goals so that as we are distracted, we come back. Okay. Today's topic is a wonderful, wonderful topic, TDS and TCS. And how we are going to study, I'll make it clear. This is the topic we are going to do over... Uh, Two days, if required, might be third day half also. Because the reason I thought this, this lecture can be very helpful for inter students, final students all. CMA final last, the DT paper had eight marks. Before that, six marks. CA inter, CMA inter, we all know they will ask you. And the best beautiful part is TDS chapter, they are asking you bits. Three bits of six marks and one MCQ. Eight marks is the weightage of this topic equal to your capital gain chapter, house property chapter. Salary and business head are 10 marks. Samaj mein aray aapko, right? So shall we start now TDS and TCS? And how we are going to do is, I know this is a chapter wherein you will have to remit, uh, remember lot of limits, rates. So today's class, I will teach you all, all the TDS and wherever I feel that, okay, this 194C T wala contract wala important hai, a concept, a problem. 194M, a concept, a problem. So today, keep patience. I'm doing more of sections today. Tomorrow, when I work out the problems and TCS will be doing tomorrow. Tax collected at source will be doing tomorrow. That time I'll say what's the difference. So, tab jab hum padhenge na, I will spare 15, 20 minutes, whatever is required again to repeat. So, today make yourself comfortable coming one and a half hour, understand it. And these two lectures, I humbly request to all of you to watch it again. I didn't request you this for set off, carry forward salary. I have never said this lecture, fill se dekhna, karna. but for this I am telling you, watch this lecture again. 
twice if you watch eight marks are yours whatever exam you're writing cac mscs inter final right and i'm going to give you all the notes but whatever notes i'm referring in today's class especially the table ab utna pura table hum likha to nahi sakte aapko so these uh, i think around 24 pages of material for tds tcs with table with solved example is already posted in telegram yesterday and all the problem sheet from 1 to 120 quality good problems of past exams mtp rtp study material important questions which are more having the chances ki as it is aaj income from other sources clubbing set of these are the topics where study material questions are as it is asked all that is covered in that 120 questions okay right so now tell me one thing dear students have you taken a print out of that sheet please take it because today and tomorrow we are doing tds tcs after that i'll be solving computation of income problem triple column with presentation so these are the classes i suggest inter final all the students should do so if you have already taken a print out can you please 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 yeah telegram group link is there no but in all the description videos okay fine i'll post it once again earlier it was you know like anyone is joining telegram can go back and check all the pdfs if it is not uh, so please remind me after the class and you all can note down the number also we have a number also phone number also wherein you can put a message to us and we will reply please don't use that for ye kal ka class hai return of income inter final all the students quality good questions we have done okay yeah chalo let me uh, write to you phone number likh rahi thi na main 92900 this is our phone number where in any time you can click the picture send the uh, your doubt to us i'm going to help you out okay but give me time and second thing again i'm saying is uh, join the telegram group so that you can take all the notes yes geeta your doubt i will take no no why in telegram i'll clear now one of the student is asking the doubt that pan and aadhar card linking should we do it uh, right now here like what is the date and all one second na one second kya hua tds tcs ke liye maine rakha so listen all of you carefully pan and aadhar are to be linked except if you are a non resident or you are residing in the state of jammu and kashmir and assam and meghalaya where aadhar card is not there or you are 85 years and above like that three four criteria are there usko chhod ke pan and aadhar linking date listen geeta carefully for financial year 20 to 23 is june 23 till june 23 actually the last date is 31st march 23 but after march 23 if you have linked your aadhar and pan till june 23 you can link up and make your pan active and by paying 500 rupees fees if you link your aadhar and pan now after 30 june 2023 then you can link up but you have to pay a fee or in short it's a kind of penalty 234h Thousand rupees. Is it clear to you? So, what's the last date of linking? Actually, March. March तक link किए तो तो कोई problem नहीं है. March to June में link किए twenty three में five hundred penalty. After that thousand. Now you know practically dates may change sometimes. They may give extensions and all. So many state if there is a flood and all. Suppose Uttarakhand there are floods. So they might extend the due date of filing the return for that state and all. that doesn't affect our exam oriented exam oriented knowledge says financial year is 20 to 23 and this is how it should be clear your doubt is clear dear right chalo yes geeta your doubt is clear some of you are joining evening what happened chalo to now you know what is the full form of tax this tds tax deducted at source 
and TCS tax collected at source. Now see, we are earning throughout the financial year 22-23. Throughout this financial year, we are earning. Okay, those who all are joining live or those who are watching the videos, if you can comment which exam you are writing, I can help you better because we have exclusive groups for the CMA final and CA final students wherein whatever is not required, I don't want to disturb and separate group for CA inter wherein all notes are put up, all doubts are shared and it's all a collective effort. Okay, chalo. Now, so financial year 20 to 23, we are earning and for that tax we are paying while you file your return, July 23. Pura saal kamai. April 22, May 22, June 22, you are earning for this year. And after the year is over in June, July, you are filing the return and you are paying the tax. So what does the department say? Department says that pay as you earn. This is not written in the books, but this is the funda. Pay as you earn. Are you earning throughout the year? Yes. Then can you pay thoda 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 tax? That thoda tax you can pay in the form of advance tax in four installments. So on your income, you pay the tax in four installments. 15 June, 15 September, 15 December, 15 March. That's advance tax. If I am generating income for you, Gita, I am generating income for you. Okay. Now... Am I generating income for you? Yes. You should pay the tax. You will pay or not. Government has put up the responsibility on me only. Who am I? Deductor. Who are you all? Deducting. Who am I? Payer. Who are you all? Pay. Coming 10 minutes, the terms of this chapter should be clear. So what am I doing? I am generating income for you. I am paying salary to Gita 5 lakh rupees. She should pay tax on that. But can I say, listen, I think this I should write and it will be very clear because this is the grossing up concept. clear Okay. For my student, I am paying salary 5 lakh rupees. Now I am saying, listen, on 5 lakh salary, say just assuming rate may not be 10%, salary commission could be 10%, 50,000 DC, Dipti Cheda ma'am, what she is doing? She is paying to government in the form of TDS. And we will give a check. <coughs> we will give a check to Gita. 4,50,000. Are you all with me? Yeah. So salary is 5 lakh. I'll give you 5 lakh. Then I'll say, listen, I will deduct TDS tax deducted at the source because I am generating the source of income for you. I will deduct TDS and pay 50,000 to government and pay 450,000 to you. Are you all with me? Yes. And very clear. Hmm? So 450,000 I'll pay to you. 50,000 I'll pay to government. <clears throat> now, when I'm giving net salary to my student, 4,50,000, what is the taxable income for her? Always gross up. Grossing up concept is so much asked in total income problem. Grossing up is asked in other source. Grossing up is the concept in TDS also. Huh? So, uh, um, even though I have given you 4,50,000, what is the taxable income? Taxable income is 5 lakh. What is the expenditure for the company? Merele salary kitni hai? 5 lakh. 450 I paid to you. 50,000 on your behalf I paid to government. But merele to expenditure kitna hai? For, uh, 5 lakh. Followed or not. This is the concept. So when I am earning throughout the year 20 to 23, can I pay part of the tax? In the form of TDS. Yes. Right. <clears throat> so part of the tax. In the form of TDS. We will pay. Subse beautiful are practical sections. Jo exam may be at our. Hamare around be 194.6 versus 206.1 edge. Ma'am aap kya bol rahe hai. Pura bouncer ja raha hai. Jane do. 
for this tds chapter by the end of the class tomorrow when we solve fast exams study materials rtps mtps beautiful example the it should be very clear to you what is the section what is the limit how much income i am going to generate for you beyond that tds is to be deducted and at what rate so for every two mark question you have to write i will show you the presentation also tomorrow today we are in learning mode okay under this section tds is deducted on this kind of the payment beyond if i am giving dividend to someone beyond 5000 i have to deduct tds at what rate 10% तो ये तीन चीजों पे आपको कंसंट्रेट करना सो इज द पर्पस क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाँ यू विल नॉट रियलाइज कि समवन गेव यू सैलरी डिडक्टेड टीडीएस ही गेव मी कमीशन टीडीएस कट गया उससे मैंने परचेज किया टीडीएस काट लिया लाइक दिस बिट 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 फॉर्म यू नो बूंद बूंद से सागर बनता है जो कहावत है ना वही कॉन्सेप्ट है टीडीएस का कि इन बिट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी पेड सो मच ऑफ टैक्स टू गवर्नमेंट and remaining you are already paying in advanced tax installment i will teach you advanced tax and interest is a super duper easy topic final mein weight is jyada inter mein kam hai but aata to hai to hum to acche se kar lenge usko example ke sath all right is the base clear to you yeah i'm again requesting i would be so 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 happy if uh, you all can share me your uh, messages that you all have taken the print out ha maine pura material jo main aaj aur kal use kar rahi hu ye sab aapko diya hai already you know the thing is when you uh, see until now if you have seen my first lecture my salary head capital head the first way i have taught the first way the first way matlab kyun literally students every day ma'am notes milenge notes milenge nahi notes likhna padega और क्वेश्चंस में सॉल्व कर रही हूँ प्रिंट आउट दूंगी नोट्स लिखना पड़ेगा क्वेश्चंस में दैट वाज माय डायलॉग टुडे आई हैव चेंज्ड इट एंड अब मैंने आपको ट्रिक ही बता दिया मेरा हाँ द ट्रिक इज कि दोज टाइम्स राइटिंग वाज इंपॉर्टेंट इन सैलरी इन कैपिटल गेन द मोर यू राइट डिडक्शन ऑल्सो जस्ट सी हाउ आई मेड यू राइट ए टी सी ए टी डी ए टी जी ऑल वी हैव रिटर्न when you write it the pen will flow in exam you will never complain that i am not able to complete my paper in 3 hours yes right chal now let us begin with all the sections so the first section is 192 dear students okay what does it say any person okay nature of payment salary em who is the pay pay matlab kisko hum pay kar rahe hain employee ko employer is paying salary to employee above the basic exemption i am paying you salary above 250000 i need to generate okay whatever salary i am giving on that acha ma'am everywhere rates are there why there is no rate in salary because if i am giving salary to you 5 lakhs and you have some other sb account interest and all which all detail you have submitted to your employer and suppose your tax comes to 1 lakh divide by 12 installments so tax surcharge ess mila ke the employer will pay your whole tax in 12 installments right so that's how tds is deducted on salary you have to give the proof suppose you are getting house rent allowance and you are saying ma'am i am staying in rented house so give the proof to your employer so that he can give you section 1013a deduction are you all with me right okay yeah chalo next is 192a which came in this may 23 exam पेमेंट ऑफ ये एमसीक्यू में भी आते हैं एंड जनरली दिस ऑल द रेट्स आर विदाउट ईसेस देयर आर ओनली टू टू थ्री प्लेसेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेयर यू विल डू गिव द रेट्स विथ ईसेस ओके चलो नाउ 192 ए वी आर डूइंग ओके 
employer is making payment of accumulated balance due to an employee who is participating in rpf now ma'am rpf recognize provident fund whatever you receive on maturity is exempt then why there is a need to deduct tds you know there are cases of premature withdrawal within 5 years you leave the organization so your pf is transferred to the next employer or pf continue hota hai nahi mere ko chahiye hi nahi mere ko mere paise de do so before 5 years if you premature your rpf tds is going to be deducted because this rpf has become taxable unless premature withdrawal is for two three reasons like employee is ill he cannot work so he had to prematurely withdraw to fit taxable bhi nahi hoga tds bhi nahi katega or if the organization got closed i was working in a company for 4 years and suddenly that company only went into liquidation and all so obviously my pf account has to be closed so genuine reason no tds just try to understand i years i have been teaching this topic if you feel ma'am we are following what you are teaching but if we have not yet learned it this is an online class had it been offline class na chorus mein students answer dete hain mai jo bhi puchu next day tak so it's my duty to make you learn abhi aap sirf pura samajh do theek hai this one minute so recognize provident fund se above 50000 if the employer is paying to employee 10% tds is deducted in case of premature withdrawal within 5 years i want all of you to write here no tds if employee is ill or if the company is closed to fir koi tds nahi katega nice clear to all of you chal ha ek aur mujhe batana tha beta i'm going to teach you all the sections right now and then i'll give you some highlights ki isko to yaad karna hi hai so after the class spare the time half an hour to learn it theek hai right hmm 193 interest on securities debentures above 5000 in case interest paid to a resident individual or hf by account check okay so now what is this interest on securities or debentures above 5000 you are paying to individual and hf for others there is no limit if you pay interest on securities you have to deduct but for when you are paying the securities and debentures to individual and hf by check all these payment are by check only above 5000 then 10 percent ha huh? and the recipient is resident if is a non resident there's a different criteria interest above 10000 in case of saving bonds hmm? or other taxable bonds if the interest is above 10000 tds is deducted at the rate of 10 percent nice clear to all of you right 194 domestic company paying dividend more than 5000 to the individual account no threshold limit in ke any other case hmm? so whatever dividend company is giving equity dividend preference dividend interim dividend final dividend sab pe tds katta hai okay if that dividend is paid in cash it's not written here but if the dividend is paid in cash okay to the resident shareholder above 10% hmm i will again come these are not going to be as the way i am teaching i am opening up the topics and when i apply this and solve the question okay this is how we have to use it in exam that will be clear to you theek hai right sure so 194 says that no tds for payment of dividend to lic life insurance corporation gic general insurance spv special purpose vehicle and trust and all okay that's fine that's a point if you remember okay nahi to chhod do but domestic company giving dividend more than 5000 to individuals and the tds deducted is 10% 
अच्छा ये है ना कि 5000 के ऊपर हुआ तो 10% परसेंट टी डी एस इंटरेस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड से ऊपर यू नो वंस इट क्रॉसेज द लिमिट ऑन द होल अमाउंट टी डी एस विल बी डिडक्टेड आई वॉन्ट टू शो दिस बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पेमेंट एंड ऑल आई शो यू दिस इज अ थिंग इफ नॉट लर्न नाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी नॉट क्लियर ये देखो एग्जाम्पल डिविडेंड पेड टू इंडिविजुअल वो इंडिविजुअल है हमने उसको डिविडेंड दिया दिस अ वेरी नाइस एग्जाम्पल डिविडेंड पेड टू इंडिविजुअल ओके टेंथ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थ्री थाउजेंड नो टी डी एस टेंथ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वन थाउजेंड नो टी डी एस टेंथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कंपनी ने डिविडेंड दिया थ्री थाउजेंड यस टी डी एस मैम यू से लिमिट लिमिट फॉर फॉर द होल ईयर दिस डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम टीचिंग डिविडेंड बट इट अप्लाइज टू ऑल इट अप्लाइज टू ऑल आर यू ऑल विथ मी हम्म तो ये समझ में आया है नहीं आप सबको थ्री थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड तो अभी आपका लिमिट यहाँ पे कितना था फोर थाउजेंड यहाँ पे कितना है थ्री थाउजेंड मिला के सेवन थाउजेंड सो नाउ वंस द लिमिट क्रॉसेस अभी देखो यहाँ पे पिटफॉल ओके नाउ व्हाट आई एम सेइंग दैट फाइव थाउजेंड के अबव इफ यू आर पेइंग डिविडेंड टू रेसिडेंट इंडिविजुअल यू हैव टू डिडक्ट द टी डी so now can we say okay seven thousand dividend paid throughout the year ना no? till five thousand no ऐसा नहीं है once it crosses the limit on the whole amount TDS is to be deducted one second हाँ so dividend paid TDS कटेगा under section one ninety four Ten percent of seven thousand seven hundred, but already I have paid three thousand. I have paid one thousand. In this three thousand seven hundred TDS deducted, and we will pay them two thousand three hundred. I feel this example. All of you should write in your notebook and ask doubts. I'm here only. Likho bata isko. Kuch bhi doubt hai to chat mein dal. clear or not put me a message and i am giving this example dear students for dividend abhi to main aapko pumping heart of this chapter 194 c contract professional fees 194 j rent 194 i with the case studies wo case studies ko ye example bana ke exam mein puch le rahe to wo sab karenge aur bahut acha repetition karenge to yaad ho jaye but sabke liye the concept is same This five thousand limit, dear students, is throughout the year. Wherever you cross it, <clears throat> once it's seven thousand, you can't say that seven thousand may say five thousand pay. No TDS, no. Two thousand pay ten percent. Cut. Oh, this is wrong. clear to all of you nice no once the limit crosses on the whole 7000 you have to deduct tds but already 3000 paid already 1000 paid so now in this 3700 you deduct and 2300 is paid the way i am writing is clear chalo now come back to the table dear students 
194 says that dividend more than 5000 tds is to be deducted 10% 194a sections abhi tak yaad nahi hue no problem ho jayenge any person interest other than interest on securities because interest on securities is covered by 193 10% so any person interest other than interest on security more than 5000 okay right so what is interest other than interest on securities interest on loan how much tds you will deduct 10% okay now here i want all of you to go to note 2 with me this is 24 pages material all sent to you so check in that please ye dekho interest on loan above 10000 if you are paying to anyone tds is to be deducted 10% but if that same interest is paid by banks cooperative bank post office then what's the limit 40000 so bank giving you uh, interest above 40000 to it tds katega senior citizen 50000 and this will be like fd interest kyunki saving account ke interest pe tds nahi hai am i very clear c उटिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेसिंग्रेस
नाइन मंथ एफ डी ओके सॉरी हाँ डियर स्टूडेंट जस्ट गिव मी टू मिनट्स वन स्विच ऑफ थैंक यू फॉर वेटिंग चलो गणेश में थ्री नाइन मंथ एफ डीज ऑफ थ्री लैक कैरिंग इंटरेस्ट नाइन परसेंट इन डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस ऑफ द सेम बैंक सो थ्री लैक इन टू नाइन परसेंट एंड ही मेड इट ऑन फर्स्ट जून ओके अप्रिल मे जून फर्स्ट जुलाई होगा तभी करेक्ट आएगा नाइन मंथ इंटरेस्ट सो थ्री लैक इन टू नाइन परसेंट ओके he has made for 9 months 60000 okay in three different branches samajh mein aa raha hai so everywhere is it crossing 40000 yes will there be uh, the tds yes how much 60750 ka 607 theek hai one minute dear students Hmm. आगे चले ना से ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रिल राजेश स्टार्टेड वन इयर्स रेकरिंग डिपॉजिट यू नो एवरी मंथ यू पुट द मनी द रेकरिंग डिपॉजिट इंटरेस्ट इज एवरी मंथ एडेड ऑन लाइक दैट सो इंटरेस्ट इज फोर्टी वन सिक्स हंड्रेड दैट इंटरेस्ट कैलकुलेशन दे विल नॉट आस्क यू फोर्टी वन सिक्स हंड्रेड इज इट क्रॉसिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड इयर्स इफ आई से राजेश इज सिक्सटी इयर्स एंड अब दैन नो टी डी एस बिकॉज फॉर सीनियर सिटीजन वॉट इज द लिमिट बेटा कितना है आपका फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो आर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड एवरीथिंग क्लियर नाउ अभी आपने पढ़ा अभी आप नोट लिखो तो आपको याद हो जाएगा एंड देन वेन आई अप्लाई एंड सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर डुपर क्लियर चलो वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन मिनट हा या प्लीज कम टू द नोटबुक and i want all of you with uh, whenever i say write the notes thoda alag pen se likhna taki aapko yaad rahe theek hai to hum kya kar rahe hain what happened are you able to see the screen i have shared i don't know why it's getting closed chal write down dear students 194a already 193 is there for interest on securities 194 for dividend now 194a this is not a crash course or a marathon lecture where i am going on explaining hmm this is a live class to aap karo 194a interest on loan other than interest on securities above 5000 tds is to be deducted at the rate of 10% theek hai interest on loan other than interest on securities more than 5000 but if this interest is paid by banks cooperative bank you know mahesh urban cooperative bank like that और आपका क्या आएगा पोस्ट ऑफिस ऑन एन डी एंड एफ डी अब फोर्टी थाउजेंड टी डी एस इज टू बी डिडक्टेड एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट अब फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फॉर सीनियर सिटीजन एम आई गिविंग यू सुपर डुपर इजी बूस्टर नोट्स है ना राइट अब नो टी डी एस मतलब वन नाइंटी फोर इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल ऑन नंबर वन इंटरेस्ट पेड टू पार्टनर इफ यू आर पेइंग इंटरेस्ट टू पार्टनर नो टी डी एस नंबर टू इंटरेस्ट ऑन सेविंग अकाउंट सेविंग अकाउंट पे कोई टी डी एस नहीं रहेगा पार्टनर कोई अगर इंटरेस्ट दे रहे हैं तो सेविंग अकाउंट पे या पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म इंटरेस्ट दे रहे तो नहीं एंड देन इंटरेस्ट इज पेड बाय वन बैंक टू अनदर 
So if the interest is paid to bank, to unit trust of India, to LIC, no TDS. Bas the parayat karlo. Write it with different thing. We'll solve the problems and examples with different thing. Shall I close? If my writing is not clear, you cannot copy. So what you have to do when I write, I always say loudly. So listen to me and write. Sun sun ke likho. Next one we are doing now. Okay, come back to the table. This was because we went to the note. Next is 194B. Winning from lotteries, crossword puzzle, card games. So this is all your casual income. Above 10,000. Then 30% TDS is deducted. This both will go hand in hand. 194B is winning from lotteries and KBC and crossword puzzle and all. And this is like booker or person holding a license for horse races. So winning from horse races exceeding 10,000. If winning in installment exceeds 10,000 also, TDS will be deducted 30%. So casual income pe kitne amount ke above TDS katega 10,000. At what rate, dear students? 30%. Okay, right. No problem. If you're not having the material right now, just listen carefully. Because if you attend live, you can ask all your doubts and get it clarified here itself. Theek hai? Chal. So 194B, 194BB. Uh, if you get casual income above 10,000, 30% TDS is deducted. But once you get lottery of 50,000, pure 50,000 pay 30%. Now here TDS is applicable in cash and kind. Suppose that I got a price. Rupees 50,000 in kind. Haan, bhi navratri hai na. So suppose in Navratri, I get the best Garba player price. And against that, they have given me a mobile phone of 50,000. Okay, so is TDS is to be deducted for casual income in kind also? Answer is yes. How much is that mobile phone? 50,000. They have to deduct 30%, 15,000 TDS and pay cash to government. So, but they have given me full amount. Actually, they should give me 35,000. But they are giving me mobile phone for 50,000. They will say pay, pay cash. I hope my example is clear. Tricky nahi hai. Clear. Ye dekho. Listen. What is my price? Mobile phone mujhe kitne ka mila? 50,000 ka. Ye mobile phone humko mila hai? 50,000 ka. Thik hai? But against this mobile phone, TDS they had to deduct it. And net they should have given me 35. Instead of that, they gave me 50 gross amount. So should I pay 15,000 cash first? That's why so many times if you get ki washing machine laga hai, ye hai, wo hai, they tell you to pay cash and then encash that gift. Because 30% TDS is to be deducted and paid to government by the organizers. Samanj me hai So 194B and double B. What is the limit for casual income? 10,000. TDS kitna katega? 30%. Hai na? Ab isko na wo list mein hum likhte ja rahe hai. Ma'am, abhi tak to aapne kuch nahi likha hai. Par mainne pehle hi aapko bola tha. I'll make you write the important ones and that too in different ways. So trust me, even if you're having this print out, still write. Or nahi hai, to print to lehi lo, kyunki examples are solved in that. Write down. 194B. Casual income. Above 10,000. TDS at the rate of 30%. In cash and kind both. Write it. Trust me. Write it. Some of you when I'm writing, if you're just sitting idle, haan, thik hai, ma'am likh rahe. Hai na likha hua. Exam mein wo thodi table leke ja sako gya. Haan. 194 double B. Income 
from horse races above 10000 tds at the rate of 30% ho gaya bas yaad karne ke liye i am giving you this trick to write it 194b 194b these are casual incomes okay right finish writing yeah now we'll do all the three commissions together my first page is over so can i revise with all of you three pages mila jula ke three pages hi hain aapke liye to fir se karo ye dekho 192 salary what will be the tds rate total tax divided by 12 so your tds is deducted with ess 192a premature withdrawal of rpf within 5 years tds will be deducted at 10% interest on securities debentures 10% amount above 5000 194 domestic company giving dividend more than 5000 yeah right okay so kitna tds ka trap aapko 10% 194a interest other than interest on securities more than 5000 that interest on loan for banks ke liye the limit is 40000 for senior citizen 50000 and these two casual income above 10000 if you receive it is 30% acha 10000 from each person hmm? whenever you are giving above 10000 you have to deduct okay right just two minutes i'll be back dear students there's an emergency no break right now but just check check the next page ha huh? chalo 194 see you